So introduce yourself, Kieran. So yeah, hi, my name's Kieran. I'm also known as Tint Lost Online. And basically we're here to show you some adaptions that you can get in a car. So I'm gonna quickly turn it off so it doesn't make the car move or rev the engine. So we've got a little pull wheel here and this is used as the accelerator for the car. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little push brake right here. Uh, I have no use of my legs at all, so that's pretty much the gist of it. And what controls have you been using before you had your car, Kieran? So I've been using your controls, Richard. Yeah. So in the Toyota, uh, we had a push-pull accelerator and brake uh, with an indicator stick, um, as well as the steering wheel grip knob. Yeah, steering wheel, okay. Um, what's different about this then from your point of view? So my point of view with this one, I have to have both hands on the wheel to be able to keep the acceleration going uh, quite smoothly, obviously. And if I need to brake, I would have to steer with one hand, which can be very, very challenging for me at the moment, but we're making progress. So that's something that we, we started to look at in my car, wasn't it? Yes, um, as well as the indicators being a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah, so whereas with the push ball hand controls, you're accelerating and braking with the right hand to steam with the left. You can do things independently. Yes. Whereas in this car, it's more. You're going to separate your hands a lot more, aren't you? Yes. So what's that going to do in terms of planning ahead? So I would have to plan my braking a lot more advanced. Mm -hmm. um, so extra caution on the slowing down as well as other vehicles in front. Um, obviously, still needing to pay attention to everything else. Sure. And you keep correcting that slightly wrong. Um, something else you might find different is signals on roundabouts. Yes, that will be a challenge that we had in the Toyota, but I, I still don't know what it's going to be like in this, to be honest. Neither do I, quite honestly. Yeah, it's going to be um, certainly something different. Okay, so as a professional driving instructor, I've got to talk about roles, responsibilities, mm -hmm. risk and that sort of thing. What is the particular risk now that we're using your car versus mine? Honestly, I never considered that. So if you would like to help me with this one, what is doing? Well, in my car, I've got a dual brake. Yes, so, so, so if you something bad is gonna happen. It's all my fault. You can't in, save in this, me. There's not a lot I can do. No. Okay. I can reach over and nudge your steering. Yep. Um, this is gonna depend on where your hands are positioned. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you pull the accelerator too much, there is nothing I can do. No. Other than say, maybe, slow down. maybe a little less throttle, Kieran. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we'll be planning ahead anyway. Yes. What sort of environment do you think it's sensible to drive in for this lesson? First for this lesson? lesson, as a first lesson, I would say let's stick to a very toned down lesson. Let's okay. say no major roundabouts. Okay. Um, until we get relatively comfortable with the actual sure. controls. Um, maybe stick to your local areas. I think that's sensible to start with. I think let's stick to your housing estate maybe for, for a while. Yep. See how it goes. Yeah. Um, I could turn this back on now. Sounds like it's already on. No, 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 the, the, these. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, the, the engine was on, but. Like, oh, so can you deactivate the steering ring then? Yeah, so I did okay. that a second ago. I'll do it once more. So okay. now I've deactivated this. Oh, I see. Yeah, but now if I turn it on, um, just, just for a quick demonstration. Yeah. I can't remember how to turn You'll this. probably feel, you'll probably hear it rev while you're in park. Give it a go. Or maybe not. <laughs> no. Okay. It's on, it's on. This is not turning though. Is it locked? Do you need your foot on the brake or your hand on yeah. the brake? Yeah. Okay. So I forgot about that. Uh, I think this also has a horn and lights. I don't know what I'm pressing here. Okay. I don't want to go reverse. So, as you can see, okay, it's quite sensitive. Yeah. Uh, put it back in the park for now while we talk. Okay, so shall we go for a drive around your local roads? Sure. Yeah, lots of left and right turns. Are you okay if I just move your seat backrest back a little? Mine? Mine. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Is that right? I didn't even know you could, to be honest. I tried yeah. to work that out myself earlier. Oh, I'm just gonna tweak my mirror as well so I can see. Yeah, I think I might need to that left side just a tad. Sure. There we go. Pull it back to the center so I don't actually knock it. So what sign do you want from me if something bad's gonna happen? Shall I just shout brakes? 
yeah just just say slow down mm -hmm. or break um, I would say for this lesson try and be extra cautious with mm -hmm. me yeah. um, like make sure I'm alert of the situations that are coming yeah it's can. worth adding just for the purpose of the video that what sort of level are you at in terms of your driving lesson career in my car how would you describe your sort of level of experience I'd say I'm very close to being ready to pass mm -hmm. Uh, but in this one, I, I definitely have no idea. Sure. So in terms of road sense, you're there, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I'm very yeah. sensible. Um, so really, the only reason I should have to intervene would be if you get mixed up with what your hands are doing. Yes. Yeah. Not necessarily what your Just getting decisions used to the controls are going to be. more yeah. than anything. Okay. In that case, then, take me for a ride then, please. Okay, certainly, boss. So let's start with a nice, gentle squeeze. I have no idea, I've never actually used this before. So as you can see, I'm a bit back and forth. Uh, we've gone five miles an hour, which is all right. Should keep both hands on the wheel. Nice, slowly. Don't really need to indicate here because there's no one here, but should always indicate anyway. It's maybe worth practicing while you're just get learning about different coordination with your hands, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I still also need to learn the distance on this car, the width. Yeah. But it seems to be going okay so far. So in a sort of street like this, we want to be making sure that, you know, we're not going too fast. Uh, you know, there are cars everywhere. Have you explored how much engine braking you get when you just release the gas ring? Very yeah. similar to my car, I yeah. think. Yeah. It rolls quite well. Uh, so Mark has been driving this and he has told me that, oh, I should speed up just a little bit just to let this guy not wait too long for me. Oh, feel like I'm on the curb there. So how about a right turn at the end to so you stay on your local, stay, yeah. local roads? I really do need to get used to this. Seems clear. I just noticed your heated seat is on. I don't know how to turn them off. I just press that. Yeah, button. feel free to keep the warm coat out. Yeah, you okay if I turn my side temperature yeah, down? Yeah, do whatever so, you like. Okay. I would like you to be comfortable as well as everything else. I feel like I'm on the curb again. No, I think that was okay actually. I, I didn't feel anything, it didn't seem too close to me. So at the moment we're not going to be picking up a lot of speed, just so I can get used to the control. Because yeah. I'm not used to using both hands on the wheel at once. Yeah. It's good that you're keeping your right hand low down on the wheel around that bend, because then it's closer to the brake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm always going to be trying to do that. So I've always got uh, just to press my wrist if I need to. Sure. So now we've got to be a bit cautious because there's a turn that could have a speeding car coming around it or anything. Now I'm using both hands because I've got a brake at the same time. Yeah. There we go. The indicator turned itself off, that's good. And I've just got a question. Did you signal just to practice giving the signal? Yes, yeah, so it was it was more for practical practice okay. purposes. Yeah. So I'm feeling a bit more confident with the actual grip of the the under wing under ring steering accelerator. Okay. It's still very very touchy. Yeah. Uh, super super sensitive. I would say it's a lot more sensitive than the push pull controls. Mm -hmm. It's a shorter amount of travel. Yeah, very much yeah. so. If you pull it all the way to the steering wheel, that's full throttle. Okay. Um, we, we don't want full throttle. Not right now, anyway. Yeah. I'll leave it to your judgment, Kieran, whether you want to go out into the wider world or spend a little bit more time on, on this road. Do this once or twice more. Um, if you can think of any other side roads that we could go down instead of turning right, maybe. I don't know, actually, this um, area. That if you turn left and left again, 
left and then take you down Cherry Tree Lane. Okay, let's go down Cherry Tree Lane. Which might be a little bit narrow. Yeah, it might be. Go. Let's have a look. Go slow down again. It's, it does, it feels really... So what I would encourage there, Kieran, is to slow down before the parked car. Yeah. Rather than slowing down through it. That, that makes should sense. Be on here. Did you notice where your left hand had to go to steer yep. around that car? It was getting into that contorted position. So. With a steering ball, you can turn the steering wheel a lot any easier, yeah. quickly in any amount, can't you? Yes. So this is something I need to practice. So yeah. right now we need to take the right side of the road, get past all these cars that are parked. Mm -hmm. So I know we're going very slow at the moment, and once right. I get once I get more confident with it, I will start to yeah. pick up a red. I, I think slow is sensible at the moment. Right turn at the end and right turn again. Right turn at the end and right turn again. I know I'm on the wrong lane at the moment. I have caused a little bit of an issue, but it's going to solve itself. I need to just speed up a bit. There we go. That way he can get past without slowing down too much. So, so for this right turn, mm -hmm. your right hand's going to be occupied with the brake a little bit, isn't it? Yes. Think about where you could position your left hand once you've put the signal on to get maximum turning circle. So just pause a second. Oh. See, if you put your left hand, just imagine you're steering wheel straight. Yep. If you put your left hand down the bottom, yep. you've got a large range of movement now to, to turn quite a lot to the right now. Yeah, yeah. So let's do it like this. See. Now, normally, you wouldn't break your wrist like that. But I, I definitely See. do need to get used to this. Yeah, and it's familiarity, isn't it? Yes. There's no right or wrong method, really. No. There's just finding a way that works for you let you keep control mm. so let's now go back down my street in reverse shall we okay so let's signal mirror mirror okay so i would do all the braking before you start going through the cars that's it and then you've got two hands to actually do the steering that's it yeah that's better Gonna take a bit of practice, but we'll yeah. get there. I'm confident that we will. Try to keep my hands always at the 10 to 2 position, it's actually quite reliable. Tell me about the 10 to 2. So, the 10 to 2, posi uh, 10 to 2 position is a really good position for being able to move your hands up and down the steering wheel uh, to feed the steering wheel. Okay. Um, and in your car, that gives you, it means your hands in just a natural position to operate indicators and yes. windscreen wipers and things. Exactly, like. exactly. Yeah. Bang on the money there. Yeah. I do apologise if I'm speaking a little quiet for the video. Richard might have to buff the audio on this one. Oh, that's all right. We'll sort whatever. It's just because I'm so concentrated. So right now we've got a nice little bend here that I don't yeah. really know what's going on. So all the braking before the bend. A nice 10 mile an hour. And then I've got full control. Good, 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 good. And I felt safe there. Yeah. If you do feel unsafe at any point, let me know. I'll be running out of the car. If <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll be going a speed enough to be able to do that. Yeah. Although, uh, it, so if you need any braking, you do it yeah. now. The nice so thing about this then. is you can now say thank you to all the drivers. Yep. Yep. Well, I can't remember if it's... Are you meant to? I would always encourage being polite. Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. I swear at one... Uh, somewhere I read, I don't know if it was that you know you shouldn't believe everything you read on the internet, mm. but somewhere I've read it, you shouldn't. Well... I would say, this has actually been um, in the news, somebody failed their driving test for waving at another driver. In inverted commas, waving at another driver. We're not talking about a driving test where they said thank you to somebody. 
when you read the article, what actually happened was they waved a pedestrian across the road. Right. And that is a big no-no. Yeah, no, you're not yeah. gonna do that. If you want to invite somebody to, to go before you, use road positioning and speed to say that. So yeah. just you know, hold back, leave a big gap. Um, but certainly saying thank you, that really isn't a problem. Now we can either do next left to stay on the estate, or we can do end of the road left if you want to go out into the wider world. I would like to see how well I do on the main roads. Sure, so let's go, let's go for a left turn. Okay, I'll let you guide me to not so busy, busy roads. Okay, uh, that's fine. If you don't mind. Yeah, that's absolutely okay. There will be a short section of 40 mile an hour if that's okay. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So now a good time signal. Yeah. Start braking nice and early. I don't know how well these brakes work. Now, I'm in a really awkward position now, with my hands. Keep your hand on the brake. Yeah. Reposition your left hand now. That's it. Right, get let this guy go first. Oh. So I had an opportunity there, but mm. because I don't feel comfortable in this car yet, yeah. I'm gonna make sure it's 100% clear. Yeah, for now I'd recommend just let the car creep. Yes. Uh, so don't accelerate. Let and, it creep out and then yeah. turn into it. Oh, you know what? Next time I see an opportunity that I would have went for normally, I'm gonna take it and just, if I mess up someone else, then I do a uh, remember, I can't, I can't stop you. I know. So now we take the accelerate. Good. And get it to a decent pace. So you've got the left right bend now, haven't you? Yes. Are you able to use engine braking for most of this, do you think? Yeah. I think so. to break. Just paying attention to the other car's signals just in case they were going to turn in front of me. No one's on the pedestrian. This is good. Uh, something to talk about in terms of steering is mm -hmm. you've said feeding the wheel, haven't you? Or, yes. or push-pull method. The advantage of that for you is that your right hand is always going to be relatively close to the brake lever. Yes. I need to learn the well practice it a bit more because I've mm. not actually had a good opportunity to do yeah. so. You've never needed to really have no. you yet. But I think once I get the hang of it, it's gonna become second nature. Yeah. So now there's no more speed bumps, we can get our speed up to 30. But we're a little bit over, but that's not too bad. The other method of steering where you do hand over hand and you cross your hands over the top of the steering wheel. I'm normally okay with that with learners doing that. Yep. Um, it's not as bad practices people seem to think but that would be taking your hand far away from brake lever then yeah so it's not something I'd recommend for you we don't want to be doing that we want to get a nice nice speed so where would you suggest um I'm going to suggest we go straight on at the traffic lights okay um and I'm quite confident that you'll manage a right turn at the first roundabout it's not a mega busy one okay making sure what's going on behind me. Even though I don't really need to because I'm not changing lane, I'm not signaling. Always good to know what's behind but that. But it is always good. It does feel nice though. At the T-junction on the right, on the left, sorry. Pedestrian signs. Can't make out tractor sign. There's a cleaner version of the sign. So the junction, so we just slow down a little bit just in case anyone emerges. Let the engine do it for me. 
I can't really avoid this pothole, so I'm just... Mm, I don't like them, I really don't like potholes, you know. Okay, so straight on at the traffic lights. Straight on at the traffic lights, okay. This car's really smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's got really good suspension. Still on a 40 road. So, are you okay having to go at turning right at the roundabout? If not, go straight on, because we can always turn right at the traffic lights afterwards before we get to the Stafford Road. Yeah. You choose. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. So, we should start now planning ahead. So, just, can you see that green icon on there? Yeah. That's just telling you, let go of the gas pedal now. Oh. That's it. The car's pretty clever, it, it knows where the junctions are. I see, so I'm signalling a little early. So uh, just take it more gentle than you would in my car. Uh huh. No one's signalling. Think about where your left hand needs to be for the left signal. Good. And there we've nice. got it. That's it. Are you finding it relatively easy to swap between accelerating with left hand and right hand? It's a challenge, okay. but it's not like super, super hard. Mm. It's just something I'm going to have to get used to. Out of interest, do you know what model this steering ring is? Uh, I do not know, but I can get that information up for you. Right, it is made by Dido Simplex. Yeah, so uh, Des Golling is the adaptions company that actually fitted it. Okay, yeah. Um, the, they, they've got many adaptions that you can provide. They even have a version that goes over the steering wheel rather yeah. than under. Yeah. Uh, but I do prefer the under, personally. Um, left or right at the roundabout, whatever you feel left or right. comfortable practicing. Okay. So, let's come off the accelerator. Nice early braking. And let's go left. Clear. It's clear. So let's not ruin the speed. The signal came off, so I put it on instantly. Don't forget that, guys. You can fail for a failure to signal if your signal turns off before it's... When your signal did pop itself off, was there anybody that was going to be affected by that? Yes, the person behind me. Okay. What was your road positioning already saying? Uh, my road positioning was still indicating that I was going to be going left. Mm. So if you hadn't put your signal back on, I don't think there would have been a, a major problem there. No. No, it wouldn't have been a major problem, but it's more precaution. Sure. So we've got uh, keep left signs. Nice bus stop. Actually kind of clean compared to the other one I just saw. This blue car gonna have to make me slow down. So just come off the accelerator, and it's all right. So he didn't make me slow down. And the fact that you're aware and you were you were almost planning for it anyway, weren't you? Yep. That was a, a what if. Situation. A what if, yeah, yeah. I like that. The technicality broke the law just then. I went four miles over the limit. Mm -hmm. And as long as you sort it out pretty quickly, yeah. again, there's no major problem. I think it's like a 4% discrepancy you're allowed, isn't it? Something like that. Um, it's an interesting one. I'll just give you a direction and then we can talk about it. Left at the roundabout and then straight on at the mini roundabout, please. Okay. okay. So legally, there isn't a discrepancy. There's no, there not? There's no tolerance. Ah. Um, a lot of police forces in their speed cameras, they do allow around 10% and that's just to account for the fact that I'll let you concentrate here. Thank you. Just to allow for the fact that speedometers traditionally aren't very accurate. Right. Um, but it shouldn't really be used as an excuse to exceed the speed limit by 10 miles an hour no. just because you know you won't get done for it. slowing down traffic behind me that's bad but it's okay, no, I think you accelerated okay you, you're still getting used to accelerating in a different way aren't you yeah so 
don't feel bad. Let the problem solve itself. But I kind of solved it a little bit as well. I just noticed, I'm not saying this is wrong in any way, yes. you were braking with the back of your hand then. Yes. Okay. That seems quite intuitive actually, I'd not thought of that. Yeah, because my hand's already like basically against it. Yeah. So that way if I like want to keep hold of the steering wheel and feed it a drawing braking, mm -hmm. I can use the back of my hand to do that. So we've got keep left signs again. Do you feel okay to have a go at the Stafford Road? Uh, which one's that again? It's the 40 mile an hour dual carriageway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, in that case, Straight on at the roundabout and left at the traffic lights. Straight on and left, okay. Just wanted to make sure he was gonna actually. I think that was sensible. Left. Left? Yeah. Ah, the sorry. other left. <laughs> So right now we should be signalling, so let's signal. I'm just going to sort itself out in a second. I keep licking my tash. There's a 40 mile limit on this road, so... Straight on second exit on the roundabout then please. Okie dokie. Straight on second exit. It's in the direction of Stafford. Roger that boss. brake coach, I don't know what that means. It was saying something about how much energy had been uh, regenerated, so as you're braking, your ah. kinetic energy gets turned into electrical energy and stored in the battery. Second exit is straight on, right? Yes, please. Okie dokie. So let's not cut their lanes off so they can get a nice kind of did something naughty there. Sorry guys. Is that a bit of a sneaky peek? Yeah. yeah. So we're still on a 40 road, but there is the school warning lights. And what's the time of day suggesting you might find? School kids running around. Cool. It's three o'clock. You okay to have a go at going straight on towards Stafford? Sure. Do you want any help on this roundabout? Please. What sort, of, what does that help look like? Uh, that help looks like, which way it is? Okay, so straight on second exit. Straight on second exit. Yeah. It's a thick road at the bottom and a thick road at the top, so it's probably two lanes on the other side. Okie dokie. What arrow are you gonna look for here? I'm gonna look for a forward arrow. one lane on your right at the moment. So where's your target ahead? So uh, it's basically the first left lane. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Go to the turn here. It's good, positioning's pretty good. Just drifted a little bit away from the curb there. So a little bit into the right hand lane. Could you see that happening? Yes, yeah, yeah, just a little bit though. We use the next roundabout maybe as an example of how you can do it better, perhaps. Yeah. What would you do differently? Uh, feed the steering wheel a bit more efficiently. Okay. 
So I think the, the shape of the road is maybe requiring more steering than it looks. That roundabout you've just done, it's not really round, it's more more an oval about. Yeah. Um, once you become the left lane, if you can't see the road markings, what else can you use as a guideline? Uh, can't remember, the curbs. Curb, curb yeah, stone on curb. the left, that's it. I feel okay, but I'd say this is the limit. Yeah, definitely no closer. Dead on two seconds, I think. Shall we go for Stafford? Do you want to give you some guidance on lane choice here? Yeah, yeah, I'm more concentrated on the actual controls, to be honest, yeah, than locations and directions. So. so we're looking for A449, which this lane's okay. Okay. As you approach the roundabout, how many lanes are there to the right of you? There are two lanes to the right okay. of me at the moment. What about to the left of you? There's one. Okay, where does that left lane go? That goes to the motorway. It does, so it goes down the first exit. So as you pass that first exit, we're aiming to become the left lane. Yep. So you're looking at the intersection between where the lobby's just gone. Yep. That's it. And just be ready for the traffic lights. But we seem to be okay. And are we at the point of no return? now definitely and there we go just make sure no one's going to cut us up good uh, i believe yep confirmation it's a 40 road so let's bring our speed up to 40 and it, it doesn't take much of a squeeze but you really do have to be very careful with this control it's very easy to go over the speed if you're not paying attention I know it's already easy in a car to do that, but even more so with this control. So in your car, there are facilities to help you avoid going too fast, there's the speed limiter? Yes, there is. Um, we might need to guard against using it for safety reasons. Yes. And that's because a speed limiter has to have what's called a kick down function, where if you push the gas pedal all the way to the floor, it will override the limiter. Yeah. Now, there might not be enough travel on your steering ring to activate the kick down. Um, so you'd, you'd have to be aware that if you'd set a 30 and for some reason you need it to go over 30, you may not be able to override it easily. No. Let's follow the road ahead of these two roundabouts. Okay. Be more of an open road where you can get some speed up towards 60 then. Okay. So right now we want to be doing a nice early break. Is it clear? It's clear. Follow the road lane round. Cool. Yeah, your positioning is good. Crust off the pizza we often say. Yeah. Straight on again. Straight on again road is clear we actually already have an opportunity let's steal it before this guy does check for the lift nicely done yeah. now we can build our speed up so I'm actually holding it all the way now still holding it all the way and we're at 60 cool going downhill so just be careful that you don't go over but the engine braking seems to be kicking in it's a bit jolty but I'm not used to this sort of control yet but we're doing good and you can either turn right at the traffic lights for a country lane or straight on at the traffic lights if you want more 60 uh, straight you say yeah, straight is 60, or right is country lane. Okay, so I can see the traffic lights are red, so nice, good early braking because of speed difference. And I'm going to brake a bit harder now, and then slowly come off the brake slightly just so I can keep creeping. Good. And tyres and tarmac. Cool. Nice. Nicely done. I actually don't mind this, you know. Would you like to give it a spin? I'm not insured on it. Ah, 
So okay. thank you for the offer, but I, I won't. Technically, I could drive it on my insurance because I'm insured to drive other vehicles, but only on a third party basis. Ah, because so, it's a mobility. So if I crashed your car into another car, my insurance would pay for the other car to be repaired, but it wouldn't pay for your car to be repaired. Right, okay. And I'm not gonna take that risk. Well, I appreciate that, thank you. So now we check the mirrors, make sure no one's coming up beside us. Like the pedalists or motorbikes. Good. And we then get our speed back up. We don't want to be accelerating too harsh until we can confirm that the people ahead of us are actually building their speed up too. And straight on still. Straight on. Yeah. It's a roundabout, isn't it? Oh. No, it's a junction. Yeah, so it's a traffic light control junction. There's the warning sign on the left for your traffic lights. Yeah. I missed the traffic light junction sign at first. Oh, we got lucky. Just, just turn green. Well timed. Yeah. Still be cautious of anyone trying to jump the lights or turn. I just want to see what it's like when it's actually like, handling at this speed. Seems to be doing all right. So we're at 60 again. I've got my hand on the lower part of the wheel, just so I'm, I'm really close to the brake should I need to. It reduces a little bit of time. Sensible. And the other one is on the top. Uh, let's go straight on again. Okie dokie, boss. Speed camera sign. Let's make sure we don't break the law. Is it read your traffic light? Yeah, I saw it. Good. It's red as well. That's it. Yeah, it'd be nice, nice early braking. So I think there was an opportunity to come off the gas earlier there. Yeah, it really was. Try for a little jolt, but it's very good, this car. Okay, so it only needs about that much of a pull to actually get it. Half oh, decent acceleration. I think we're following distance again. We're only going 30, it should be enough, right? Uh, only a four breaks a two second rule. Yeah, thank you. Right, it's still a 60 road. I can't overtake, there's a car coming next to me. I'm going to indicate, but I'm going to wait. Turn your signal off then if you're not intending to move at the moment. I'm going to get you to go right at the roundabout though, so you'll need the right lane anyway when you can. Okay. So, I think it was clear that the lorry driver wasn't going to help you out. Would you agree with that? It was very clear. In which case, turn your signal off, drop back, have another go. So right towards Cannock, please. Okie dokie, so I'm already signaling nice and early for the people behind us. to us or it was a packet of crisps flying up here the sensor <laughs> yeah my sensors pick up butterflies and try and slam the brakes on yeah it's trying to steer me away from the curb as well mm. it's got auto steer assist okay which is kind of bad so we can go at the same time as others Switcheroo there. Um, Is there anything missing from your roundabout there? Uh, a left mirror check. I agree. Yep. Okay. Control wise and decision wise, it was brilliant. Yes, I agree with you. There should have been a left mirror check and bad gearing. What are you looking for when you do check the left mirror? So I'm looking for other cars that might try and steal my space as I'm turning into that lane. Mm -hmm. um, so if I need to emergency switch into a different lane or emergency brake or accelerate to make sure I can actually get the space I need yeah. before I get hit. Then or even change your mind about whether you're gonna leave the roundabout. Yeah, keep going yeah. round. Yeah, you could go round again. Yeah. yeah. So I have noticed it's a 50 the road instead of a 60. 
won't be able to do a motorway trip in this car. No, not that. Um, because it needs to have a dual brake uh, for motorway lessons. Okay. But that's, that's fair. So, bearing in mind we can't go on a motorway, I'd just like you to navigate this roundabout in the only direction you can. Okay. Blue on the right, which is motorway. Blue on the left is motorway. So straight on. So straight on is your only option as a learner today. Okie dokie. For this angle, I need to lean forward, and it's clear. So there's no stopping. That's no entry. Ah. That was for the road coming off the motorway. It's just to make it clear that you can't go down that road. Right. I Otherwise, thought... you'd end up the wrong way on a motorway. I got mixed up. So no stopping, do you know what the sign looks like? Uh, it's a red X instead of a line, isn't it? That's it, so red circle, blue background, with a red cross, absolutely. We'll see if we can, see if we find one, we may do. Okie dokie. So we're going straight on? Straight on, please. Sorry for this. If you're getting stiff. So I believe this is a country road, right? Well, it's certainly an out of town road, isn't it? It's not a built up area. Yeah. But so we have got a 50 mile an hour speed limit, so yes. it's not covered by national speed limit. No. So it looks like this car in front of us is trying to see if they can overtake. Yeah. That's what their positioning is maybe suggesting, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. See another speed sign. I don't know what this sign means. Um, so that's no parking. Right. See, it confused me because it was on a yellow box. So the, the red circle on the blue background with just a red stripe instead of a red cross refers to waiting. And waiting is the legal term for parking. Right. Okay. Whereas the red cross means no stopping. Okay. Thank you. So that would mean if it was no stopping, you wouldn't be able to pull up at the side of the road to let passengers out. Whereas if it just says no waiting, then you can so stop to let passengers out. About here. Do you still think it's a roundabout? No, it's a junction. Don't do it, lady. like she was about to start rolling. So now our follow distance is about right. Good. I'm just estimating based on visual. The faster we go, the further away they are. Yep. It seems about two seconds to me. Yep. Only a four, breaks a two second roll. Yeah, about two seconds and a half. In a moment, I'm going to admit my ignorance as to directions. Okay. I'd like you to turn right at the roundabout onto the A46. Uh, um, um. A46, okay. Let's have a look. A460, that'll do us. On this roundabout? Point. Yes, please. A460. Oh, sorry. A little too soon. Yeah, look further ahead for where... 
Yeah, I was looking at these arrows, yeah. I was like, it's these ones, isn't it? So, right so, now? Yeah, so it's the exit after McDonald's, or after Halford's. Okay. So we're we going back on ourselves? No, where the orange lorry is coming from. We're going down there. Okay. So spiral outwards. Left mirror, mate. That's it. Cool, that's it. There we go. That roundabout needs a repaint, really, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I couldn't really see the lanes that well, to be honest. I did get a bit confused, so thank you for saying spiral out. See, that's that's one thing the council's just really doing. Just check your speed there, Kevin. Yeah, thank you. It's because we just came from a 50 road. It felt mm -hmm. like I was going like 30, but yep. I was slightly over. So it's best to go slightly under than slightly over, though, isn't it? Well, one's legal and one's not. Yeah. So, how have you been anyway? I'm all right. I mean, I feel comfortable with your driving as well. Thank you. Though I did take the road, my eyes off the road. I was just doing that with my head. So let the engine bring me back to 30 exactly. I got the 32, 40. At the next roundabout, could you do a straight on, please? Certainly, boss. We're heading, we're following signs for Wolverhampton. Okay. So, how is my uh, crossing technique? Is it just turned to a 40? I did see the 40 sign. It has gone to a 40, twisted. yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you for confirming. If you're not that. sure, just check for a reminder sign pinned on the lamppost. Okay. Yeah, I see it. It is literally just because it was twisted, I was like, is that for the other road? Hey, your acceleration seems fine. It's very, very light. So now it's saying come off the accelerator. And we're going to follow the sign for Wolverhampton. So where's that sign? There it is. And I can't see Wolverhampton. Straight on, second exit. Okay. We can go. One. Okay, now the next roundabout is a little bit trickier, mainly due to road markings. Okay. It's going to be a right turn, so could you get yourself set up for that? We're looking for Wolverhampton A460 again. A460. Yeah. Okay. So my uh, road sign assistance is saying it's a 50. It is. I like how you're helping the lorry driver. Good. So here comes a map of the roundabout. Can you find Wolverhampton? Left. Yeah. About on the green sign. Yeah, so it's. Looks like a third exit, but it's it is. Not. It is. Is it? Yeah, so where you've got M6 at the top, it's showing you an exit to the M6, but also it's showing you the stubby road coming off the M6. Oh. So at what point do you need to spiral out to the left lane then? I would say at the second or first exit. I think it's the first exit, after the first exit. Second. Second? Yeah. Okay. So the, the first exit is signposted for Willenhall. I usually just throw, follow the road markings, to be honest. Yeah. There are no road markings here. This is our problem. They're right. not very good. They're quite faded. Okay. But we know that the exit we want is the next one after the motorway. Yes. Yep, so when you see the motorway exit, as you go past that, that's when you're gonna do a really good left mirror check and spiral out to the left. <laughs> For some reason, people quite often try and turn right from the left lane. Ah, uh, so In I... fact, this lorry has got a right signal on as well. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah. So I'd let him get in front of you. 
that's it now follow him on so you're right now just come away from this lorry tell people where you're going right signal that's it this motorway junction left mirror and spiral to the left just got the wrong signal there you signaled right oh yeah so do i keep the left on now left signal now yes because we are leaving at the next junction okay because this is an awkward roundabout it's so weirdly shaped it's an odd it's an, it's an egg shaped isn't it really yeah it's honestly throwing me off so much mm -hmm. So how we deal with badly marked roundabouts is really to use the green map. Okay. And work out where it is you're going. See if you can identify the exit before yours. Pick out the road number or if it's a motorway that's easier to spot. So we're going down there? We are. Okay. Can we go any further from the left lane? What do you mean? We have to stay here and just follow it into we do. that road. Yeah, but you're, you're questioning if it's that exit, and I'm throwing a question back at you to say, if we're in the left lane, can we go any further than that exit? Oh, no, no. Yeah. Like, unless we did, like, the proper safety checks and stuff. Yeah. You know, it's it's really not a good idea. Yeah. That's it. So I was just kind of throwing the question back at you, really. surprised how much we pick up on this phone camera. Okay. And I was looking at video cameras but then it just dawned on me actually I've got a few spare phones. Oh, well. The cameras on them are pretty good. Use it with the pedestrian crossing. Right turn at the traffic lights. Okay. So not these ones, the next one. Mm -hmm. Ah, not before. Good. So now we're past it, we can signal. I don't like this, it's tight. Did we even need to come down the side of the lorry? No, not really. I'll just stay here, might as well. Let's not worry about inches for a long. So our traffic light is red at the moment, for those that don't realise. everyone stop no one's jumping the red lights and we're good let the car steer itself and away we go back to 30 nice and slowly are we doing 30 what signs have we got we've got a 40 reminder just then now let's slow down yeah they're stealing your priority aren't they yeah well responded there Sensible driving. 
driver is prepared to fix somebody else's mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah. This road's a bit bumpy, it looks like it's just being resurfaced. It has. Did we come down here last week? I think we did, when and it was all, it was all like um, skid warnings. Yeah, we were, we were discussing the advisory speed limit, weren't yes. we, and whether we, whether we needed to... 10 was too slow, and yeah. so I did 20. Yeah, so you decided that 40 wasn't appropriate, but 10 was, like you say, too slow. And there was a car that was a jerk. Yeah, so somebody overtaking, yeah. Wasn't very nice, was he? Oh, by the way, just so you know, uh, some of my friends, I've shown the video with the bus, mm -hmm. and they keep complimenting how you are. So, oh, thank you. What, what I mean by that is, every instructor they've had, they say they're very rude and impatient. Okay. And, they're, like, they're, they're from Belgium and all over the country. Uh, all over the world, sorry. I've got mm -hmm. plenty all over. And, uh, yeah, like, they've never, ever, ever seen a driving instructor that's as patient as you are. Oh, thank you very much. I've been bragging about you all everywhere, honestly. Is that, to some extent, a reflection on you as well? What do you mean? Well, I don't have to nag you, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. You know, you're, you're very... You don't get upset when you make a mistake. You, you make an effort to learn from it. Yeah. And you analyse those mistakes yourself. Well, I try to. Yeah. But if, if I don't analyse it, I'm not going to learn, you know? That's right. Sometimes we make mistakes, it's a, it's a human thing. And this is something that even full licence holders should be doing. Any time they make a mistake, I make mistakes. Yeah. We learn from it. Yeah. Analyse what happened, what am I going to do to stop that happening again? No one can be perfect 24-7. There's Absolutely. just no such thing. Honestly, I think it's got to be a big part of just the life experiences I've had, the mentality that I've developed. Oh, there's a queue ahead of us. And we're going to go left at the end of the road, please. Yeah, let's, uh, let's avoid this queue, yeah? How are you going to do that? What's your plan? My plan is to... Uh, so I've looked at the map so I can tell what kind of road it is, how yeah. it bends. Yeah. And then nicely slow down, because it is quite a sharp bend. Yeah. Let the engine do most of the work until we get a bit closer. So about now we want to start. By slowing early, the traffic jam's gone. Yeah. So yeah, you haven't added to it then. Let's make sure we get to a good position. We've got a good view there. And we can go. So now we're still on a 40 road check the map to see how the road actually does bend, it does help. So we can see clearly now, we don't want to be going for Can you see over the bridge? No, we can't, so we want to be nice and just nice and passive. There we go. There I think passive's go. a good word. Yeah. Passive is one of my favourite words. When you're playing competitive video games, you have to be passive until you see the opportunity. If you just rush in there and make a dumb mistake, you ruin it for the whole team. And the team being the other drivers. At the end of the day, you all have to work together to make sure that you are safe and each one and every one of you is safe. So now we're buying a truck, so let's leave a bit more room so that you can see us. I think it's also wise, because you're leaving this junction clear as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I, honestly, I didn't even realize that was there, to be honest. I'm just more focused so, on- So double benefit, really. Yeah. What, what speed? I can't see the speed change. It is a 60. Okay. Very soon changes to a 40. Thank you. And let's follow the direction for Wolverhampton then, please. Yes, boss. So, checking the right lane. No one's hogging it right now, so that's good. Just in case we need to use it, having a good earlier preemptive is gonna help your mind be calm for that situation before it happens. Could change at any point, so I might try and overtake like they are now. Also, do you like the blind spot checks? Yeah, never rely on them. I won't, I won't. Yeah, we still need shoulder checks. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it's a useful safeguard. Uh, so, where 
where's that sign while well, uh, there's a truck in the way I can't see it let's just ease off the accelerator until we can see it good buy yourself some time good. so it's the third exit second second uh, it's a tricky one yeah so the stub is parallel to the motorway one so that tells you it is an entrance coming off the motorway at the side of the lorry? No, that's why I'm waiting. Good, 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 good. Follow the lanes. Cool. I'd suggest a left mirror check there is useful as well. Because although the left lane is marked as left turn only, you might find somebody trying to go straight on from that left lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now a good early left signal. Yeah. So anytime there's an opportunity for somebody to squeeze into your space, I would be checking a mirror on that side. So like here as well, yeah. like there. That's it. Check Is there. anybody whizzing off the motorway and not stopping at the traffic light? No, not at the moment. That's the kind of question to ask yourself and look for, isn't it? Where are we going next, just so I can prepare? I'm going to say head for home. Head for home, which mm -hmm. I don't have it set, could you set it? I'm not going to operate it while I'm supervising you. Okay. But if you want me to give you directions, that's fine. Yes, please. So it's going to be straight on at the traffic lights, and then right at a roundabout. That was a nasty one. Uh, straight on and then right. That's it. Okay. That's it. While you're supervising a learner, you can't use touchscreen stuff and, and that sort of thing. Right, okay. When you are passed and you're a full license holder, then I become a passenger. And yes, I can do that sort of thing for you then. So while we're doing the advanced stuff, the advanced course? Yeah. You, okay. That's it. But while I'm a supervisor, um, I can't do that sort of thing. To be honest, I think I'm very, very close to being able to pass. I think you're right. Like, especially after that mock test, you put me on a lot harder road, you said, and it was double the amount of time. Mm -hmm. And it was all down to observation was the only reason I failed, yeah. basically. Oh, and one moment of speed. Mm -hmm. Naughty Kieran. So, also, just so you guys know, um, we're making sure that you guys have a good view of these adaptions. So, just before we say goodbye to each other, I'm going to... Make sure Richard can sit in the cockpit with the camera and uh, let you see. Or I'll just pass the camera to you and you can you can give a description. Uh, that works too. So we're now aiming for a right turn at the roundabout, please. A right turn. Okay. So I think it's a bit soon to be going into the right lane. No, I don't think so. I think go for it. What clues have we already got that the roundabout's coming up? Um, kids. Oh. So you've already got the warning sign. Yeah, on. reduce speed. Yeah. So this right turn, it's that awkward one I don't like, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's the second exit. Do you want some help? Uh, I think I've got this. Okay. So this is where I become the left lane. That's it. We still need a right signal there. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, oh. oh, that was a misleading it signal. It was. Totally agree with you. Left signal now. That's it. I think I left on the wrong lane, didn't I? You were okay because you, you did check your mirror. So doing that last minute lane change was quite safe. I slowed down because it looked like they were just about to come. Yeah. What's your speed limit on this road? I think it's 40. Have you seen a 40 sign with your own eyes? No, let, let's, for safety purposes, let's go back down to 30 then. You should it, never assume, and I'm in the wrong for doing that. If it was 40, what would you see? You would see reminder signs Perfect. every 200 or so odd yards or something yep. like that. Um, but they can be further apart, so. Just be careful. Also, when the lane yeah. merges like this, it's a good idea to always check your right side mirror or left side, depending on which side you're on. Yeah. You know where you're going at this roundabout? 
Uh, I believe so. Uh, it's pink. I have to get closer to give you an answer. Uh, so I believe it's straight on. Correct. And then once we've done this roundabout, can we talk about your signal timing at the previous roundabout? Yes. So it was a bigger turn. That's why I was a little late because I was more concentrated on the actual steering. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? It's clear. So we don't really need to slow down that much, but it'd be nice to give a signal here. So one of the things I just want to mention is you were in the right hand lane on the roundabout, weren't you? Yes. With a right signal still ticking away. Yes. You were intending to leave at the next junction, but what indications were you giving to the other cars? Uh, I was saying that I'm still going round at that yeah, point. that's it. So they thought, hey, I can go. So the reason they started coming out was my error. I'm going to agree with you. So when is the correct time for that left signal to go So on? the left signal should usually come on um, one exit before yours mm -hmm. so before the second exit so that way you're not messing with the people on the second entrance yeah because yeah that, that that really confused them i gave a misleading signal just like the person that gave me the misleading signal so thinking about the path you take on that roundabout as you go on to it you're actually going in a straight line aren't you yes and then the, the first exit disappears, you've then got the opportunity to put your left signal on before you start steering around to the right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's also practice, practice, practice. Yeah. And I think most of that, you understand where the signal timing has to be. It's just at the moment you're just learning where do my hands need to be to be able to steer and signal yep. and brake? Yep. Yeah. I bang think, on the money. I think you've done fantastically though today. Honestly, I'm a bit surprised in myself. I didn't think I'd be able to adapt to it this quickly. Still not perfect, I'll be honest. Mm. But definitely got something here. I was. Yeah. And I've driven with this adaptation on a training course for about 15 minutes, that's all. Ah. Um, so I'm not, not terribly familiar with it myself. Fair. Well, if you ever do want to give it a spin, if you get the insurance sorted, more than welcome to. Even if it's just for a day's worth of insurance, you know what I mean? Yeah. Is there anything that we haven't touched upon today and you realise? Let me know if you want me to do it with you. I can do it with sure. you. Or if you want to do it alone, that's perfectly fine too. Because I honestly, I trust you completely. So some closing comments then. Now that you've experienced underring accelerator and push ball accelerator, what's your preference? Um, or could you give me some pros and cons for each? So the pros and cons to the underring accelerator would be the pros is you have more control over the steering wheel directly, but the con is it's honestly harder to brake. Mm -hmm. um, but this could also be something that could be practiced upon. Um, so with enough time and practice, I would say the underring accelerator would be just as equal mm -hmm. to the push and pull. But yeah. the difference is with Richard's push and pull is that it has an indicator stick. So for practicality purposes, if you're new to driving or wanting to learn to drive, I would honestly recommend the push to pull stick um, simply because you have the indicator on it and then you could learn to adapt to a new adaption later on. Yeah. If you struggle to learn to adapt, then I would say find what's suitable for you and learn with that from the get-go. Sure. The reason that I don't have the underring accelerator in my car is purely down to the cost of it. I understand. Um, the adaptations I've got allow most people to drive, even if it's not the perfect setup for them. It's it's going to be an adequate setup for most people. Um, and from a business point of view, I couldn't really justify the expense of having an underring accelerator fitted 
because not many people would be using it. Oh, I understand. Come on. Oh, I didn't really, sh I shouldn't have said thank you there, but I did. <laughs> oh, I think you had time to. I was, I was okay yeah, with that. Yeah, I know, but she, she kind of cut me up, not the other way around. I, I, don't, I don't mean cut up, by the way. I, I, I can't find, I can never find a word for it. Well, we'd already committed to going round the bend with the parked car. Yep. And we did that in good faith based on what we could see at the time. Yep. Okay. Oncoming vehicles have, we can reasonably expect that they should be thinking, I can't might come around the corner on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Um, now, extreme caution as you turn into your drive. 